Taylor Pope, Ben Madigan up in the Legacy Dodge broadcast booth here at the Casman Center. Oil Barrett's in their home blues. They will go left to right on your radio dial here in the first. The Drayton Valley Thunder in their road whites with green trim and a brand new Thor style logo. Oh, as Morrison scores! Six seconds into the game. Reed Morrison crosses the blue line and floats a shot in. That handcuffs Parkinson and the mob strike early. Well, you know that's one that Parkinson's going to want back, Taylor. Real quick start to this game for the Oil Barons. Reed Morrison able to pick the puck up off the draw just behind the faceoff circle in his end. Curls around, takes it up, and just throws a shot on net that beats Parkinson. Probably not set, probably not ready to go as six seconds in. A few weeks. Here's Jared White pass in front. Isaac backdoor feed for Parkinson. Morrison dances around Clessens. He snaps a shot. Parkinson the save. Rebound comes out. Conroy batting at it. And what that's it? Charco. He's crashed into by Stafford, and that'll be a penalty as Charco leads. Pomeroy. Bartholomew. He'll take a shot. That one sails right to Junior Hockey League. And he was one of Drayton Valley's top. There's Nathan Carl as he'll chip one down into the corner. Cody Wool gets bodied off the puck. Coventry. McCloskey centering pass deflected by Carl. And it squeaks through Parkinson and the Oil Barrets take a 2-0 lead. And that's just a great example there, Taylor. Put the puck on net, good things will happen. Carl does a great job by getting himself set up in front of the net, plants himself, keeps his stick down, and a good feed goes off him. I don't think he meant to necessarily tip it in the way he did, but that's what happens when you go to the net and then put the puck to the net. Braden Cook being chased back into his own, and he's run over. Pass ahead into center ice, bouncing puck. Recovered by the Oil Barons. Tamaris tips it ahead to White. White down the right side drops. Tamaris with a long shot. He scores! A drop pass from Jared White and Peter Tamaris with a shot that again trickles past Parkinson and the Oil Barons take a 3 0 lead. Again, a great job by Jared White there, gaining the line, carrying it in. And then the best part there, Taylor, again, you have bodies in front. You had traffic. I don't think Parkinson had a clear line of sight on that shot. Tamara is able to shoot it far side of the net from where he's standing. Uh, a really, really well-placed shot by number 19. And the Oil Barons continue to pour it on here late in the first period. Banked off the boards in the center. Tipped down the ice as Carl... Pass up ahead off a stick. Kinneberg chases this back into his own end. As Kinneberg gets lessons on the end ball. Foster spins away from McLean. Foster trying to dance his way in towards the goal. He's docked down. Oil Barons have numbers the other way. It's Coventry with McLean. Two on one. Coventry in across. McLean a shot. He scores! A two on one for the Oil Barons. And Coventry hooks up with Chad McLean, and McLean one times it past Parkinson. He's got goals in back-to-back -back games. Just a, a textbook two-on-one there, Taylor. Pass over, and McLean makes no mistake. Nice one-timer into a wide-open net. There's not much you can fault Parkinson's on that one. Again, just a, just a textbook two-on-one opportunity for the Oil Barons to get the turnover in their own end and then quickly force the puck up the other way. Uh, the Drake Valley Thunder, they came up with a strong start to this period, but since that power play, it's been all Oil Barons in the second. Up ahead to Gable. Gable's pass off the skate of Morrison. That's turned over at the offensive line. Isaac trying to win it back. He does. Gets it to Gable. Gable to Morrison. Spins. Fires. He scores! Not what he meant to do, but he'll take it. Reed Morrison all smiles. Try to give and go with Cole Gable. It goes off the defenseman's skate and five holes Parkinson. And that'll end his 
afternoon as Rory DeMelli will come into the game. Yeah, that's a good call to get Parkinson out of the game. He's, he's had an off night. Some of these ones that have beat him, you can't fault him on. A uh, weird bounce on that one, not his fault. But at this point, five goals. Get him out of the net because clearly it's just not his night. Is it up the middle? That's picked off. Here's Morrison in towards the goal. Chopped down. Penalty coming up here against Drayton Valley. And there you just see the anticipation of re... This puck fired down the ice. Icing waved off. Kerr will take it behind his own net. Rim it around. Coventry tips it ahead to Carl. Carl has McLean with him. McCloskey coming up later. It's McCloskey with a shot. He scores! Great hustle by the defenseman to get up in the play and make a two-on-two, a three-on-two. And Carl finds him cross ice, and McCloskey makes no mistake, it's 6-0. Yeah, just a a beautiful heads-up job there by Carl. He knows he has two men with him. The one of them has the better chance to score, so he feeds it over, hits McCloskey in stride. And as you mentioned, Taylor, the wheels by McCloskey recognizes, I can turn this into a three-on-two, but only if I get on my horse and go, because he had a straight Valley Thunder player right behind him, and then he makes no mistake beating Dumoulin. This is just all oil barons this afternoon. Gladue up through the middle. There's a shot fired in. Hits Kerr right in the mask. His helmet pops off. And that'll have a stoppage in play. Winds his way up, trying to split the D. He's taken down into the Brown corner. Pomeroy. Gable shoved off stride and... Ar- Picked off in center by Cook as he's hit hard into the corner. Conroy looking for a trailer. Finds Hamley off the bench. Hamley with a shot. He rips it. Cross ice pass off the skate of Orbit. As this is in deep into the near corner here in the mob end. Cook turns it over. Shabbat in with a shot. He scores. Oil Barons get caught with some sloppy play in their own end. And the puck's turned over. And it's the youngster, Caden Shabbat, going short side on Kerr. And the Thunder get one, and it's six to one. Jeremy Klesens is knocked down. Jovetic tips it ahead to Gable, quickly up ahead to Morrison. Three on two for the Oil Barons. Morrison drops, Gable in towards the goal. Gable right in, he scores! Nice soft hands in front by Cole Gable as he fools Tomelli and goes into the top right corner as Gable makes it 7-1 with 3.37 left. His pass off the stick of Shabbat forces the Oil Barons back in deep into their own end. Kinneberg tripped up in the corner. That'll be a penalty on Shabbat as Morrison chases after this puck. He scores! It's a hat trick for Reed Morrison as he uses that speed to catch up to a loose puck and five holes to Melly. What an afternoon for the Oil Barons' leading scorer. 